Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to be checking out the BS Framework. Now this was just released, and if it sounds somewhat familiar, there's a reason for that. This is actually the technology that runs the Banshee engine that I recently covered in the Others video series. Um, it's open source, C++ based, uh, let me just jump on over to their webpage, it's available at bsframework.io. As always, I will throw this link down below, I'll also throw a link to the video I did on the Banshee game engine. And as I just mentioned, basically what they did is they took the underlying technology for their open source engine and turned it into a framework that we can all use. Uh, the source code itself is hosted up on GitHub. This link will be down below as well. Uh, you can go ahead and download it. The instructions are pretty solid. You need to have CMake and a compatible compiler, uh, but that's about it. So you can walk through the process right here. I've actually went ahead and did that. Uh, here you can see the end results for the examples. It comes in two parts. There's BSF examples and BSF, the base framework itself. By building the example side, you do get the full library. They also offer a downloadable binary version, which basically contains uh, the compiled lib and DLL versions for this current release. So if you don't want to go through the process of building it yourself and you just want to start using it in your own source code, that is an option. Now what we're seeing here, this is actually the skeletal animation program running, I think. Yeah, here it goes. Uh, so you see, this is a demo of the kind of functionality it provides. This is, again, a lower level framework. If you were going to be building your own game engine, you would build it on top of this. Uh, there are a number of examples available in the um, BSF examples project. You see we've got here for showing how to use audio, uh, how to use custom materials, GUI programming, low level rendering, physically based rendering, physics, and then as you just saw, skeletal animation. So let's head on back over to their homepage for a bit more information. Uh, as I mentioned, C++ based, uh, modern clean C++ 14 version code for the API, a modern rendering API built over top of Vulkan, but also with backends for DirectX 11 and OpenGL 4.5 if you prefer either of those. Uh, it is cross-platform, uh, running on all major desktop operating systems, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. Unfortunately, there is no mobile support in there, at least as of yet. On top of that, we got a physically-based renderer, so you can recreate um, you know, modern lighting, modern textures accurately. It tends to be the way that most game, game engines are going these days. Uh, Multi-threaded, high-performance uh you got extensibility with a easily tweaked and enhanced plugin system, a clean modular architecture, uh, implementations are lightweight, and this is actually pretty important when you're looking at an underlying framework. So you can sort of pick and choose what you need to use. You don't you know, end up with a whole lot that you don't necessarily want to have. Another impressive thing about this project, and this is a bit of an exception in the case of most open source projects, is there's actually some pretty solid documentation attached to it as well. So you saw here earlier, we looked at the examples project that's available, you can download that here, but there's also a user manual you can pull up right here, and it's got solid documentation of what is actually available in this library, including a full user manual, developer manuals you see right here, and then on top we have the API reference for both the plugins and the core API. Uh, broken down like so, drilled down in, and again, each particular piece is fairly well documented. So if this is an engine that you want to build on top of, you are going to be fairly well supported from the documentation side. Again, a bit of a rarity when it comes to uh, you know actively under development open source game projects these days. So that is the uh, BS framework. I'm not sure that's the greatest choice in names, but um, well, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. And again, remember this is built Underneath, this is technology building underneath the Banshee game engine. So if you haven't checked that one out already, do be sure to check out the video I will post down below. I uh, hope you guys found that interesting. Do let me know what you think of it. Any of you guys actually working with or using this framework right now or looking for a low-level C++-based framework to work with? Is the lack of mobile support a deal breaker for you or does this look like something you'd be interested in? It's cool to see the developer breaking his project into two pieces because a lot of people aren't necessarily looking for a game engine but maybe looking for the technology to build their own game engine. So it's always welcome to have that there and he's going to have to do that work anyway so you know making that split does make it a whole lot more maintainable for him and a whole lot more useful for us so you know let me know in the comments down below what you think of this development in general and that's it for now i'll talk to you all later goodbye